Scared money don't make money, you know. <laughs> I got that Navy hoodie, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> we had to, we had to get it on there real quick. So we got Ant thirty three, and, and this is a great kind of how we want to get this, this show started. He said we only landed two of our six targets, and I think that's where people are getting frustrated and where the the upset. Is coming from so let, let's let me let me be clear on what we landed. Uh, a lot of people I think aren't counting a few that we that we landed that I'm I'm going to count as a land for today that I think we're pretty much already verbally committed. Um, the, the first being uh, Jalen Farmer, who is a an offensive lineman. He's a three star recruit. He was already verbally committed to Florida. Seemed pretty heavy, but Bama and Kentucky, which I mean Kentucky wasn't really there, but Bama made a huge push for this kid, and to me. That's a huge W for us to be able to hold off Bama. Now, again, three-star recruit, they can argue like he probably wasn't going to play there anyways. But we, 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 we see that playing only one year in Bama has has a, has a success. So sure. I think being able to hold off Bama and to get this kid to sign was a mass – was he a target, say, like who we wanted? No, he wasn't really on the radar of targets of those big star guys, but – Dude, the guy, the guy, listen for this. He's 6'5", 325 pounds, okay? <laughs> There's no no slouch by any means. The reason why he's three stars, he ate the other one, all right? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the guy's an absolute tank, my guy. Look, at the, at the end of the day, you can't have an entire team of five stars. Look, I know it feels unless, like Bama has Texas done that. A&M. <laughs> and well, we'll get to that. But look, you can't have an entire team of five stars. The the portal won't allow you to do it anymore. They'll be gone. Um, look, you've sure, got to have sure. your three star guys. You got to have your two star guys that you can get them into your program, develop them, put them in the weight program, get them in the nutrition program, and make them better. Now, if everybody comes in a five star, everybody comes in ready to 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 think they're going to start. Sure. And at the end of the day, you need these guys for depth, and especially at the offensive line. And I think Florida can understand that better than anybody, even Florida State. That if you don't have that depth. If, if those two, if that position, especially defensive line, offensive line, there's just too too much too much chaos at the, at that position to think that if you don't have the depth, he's a great player, no doubt, three stars. But it, who cares about the stars? He's going to come in. He loves Florida. He wants to play for Florida. Great win. Take it absolutely. Next next one I'm I'm excited about, and we're going to play some some highlight tapes here. Is, is Jack Fiburn Fiburn? Look, I'm horrible with names, guys. I think you guys have learned that uh, that's not going to get any better here. Um, here's some highlights playing up on the on the screen here. He is a three-star. He was a four-star, and we'll get into that, too, about these stars dropping off. We were trying to figure out, like, what causes this. There's a lot of hate that Florida, fan, uh, Florida fans are saying that uh, Gators, when they commit to the Gators, we lose a star, right? Um, but you and I kind of talked about it a little bit today. Part of it is that they go and do some kind of, you know, some uh, some training, or tryouts, or kind of like a Columbine for college, right? That's where they could lose that star. Um, so that's, that's that's in Colorado, but yes, yeah, co- the Combine, oh, com- the Combine. So I got a little bit of list. My 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 wisdom teeth are so affecting me, but yes, Combine. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is causing some of those stars to drop off a little bit. But he was a three star edge um, from Bowles, which is here in Jacksonville. We talked about him a few few days ago, just prior to this, about last week sometime. And you, you could see in, the, in these highlights here, the guy is an absolute tank. To me, he's one hundred percent a four star. The guy's quick. He's fast. He's Hot off the line, and he, he's he's a man amongst boys. His last, in his senior year of high school, he's a wrestler. Uh, the kid is no slouch. So this to me is a, a huge dub, an, an absolute dub. No, I look. I mean, did, you you can't you can't go wrong if you go to Bowles High School. You're playing the best of the best, even in Jacksonville. Uh, it, you know, we're not we're not South Florida. We're not Muck City. You know, we're not uh, uh, Booker Washington down there. I mean, these guys, those those schools are just, you know, any and every, you know, Hall of Famer that comes from Florida seems to come from there. Uh, but Bowles has produced some talent. There might be a starting quarterback out there in the NFL uh, that uh, that came from there. And I'm, I'm sure I could, I'm missing some folks. I could go down a list. But uh, Bowles produces talent. And they not only just produce talent, but they play talent. They play the Trinities. They, they go out there and they play a high level of, of football. They're not, it's not a, a situation where you get a kid coming from a school who was playing lower level talent and he just looks like a stud. Like Bowles plays schools on their level and they beat them and they play well. To come from that school, you That's- know that you've seen some talent. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, I mean, it, it, obviously we're, we're, we're located around here with Bowles, and we understand the talent that Bowles produces. We mentioned this in the last cast, 
Bowles produced Mac Jones. Like, they're not producing, you know, slouches around there. So, it's not like some kid. Maybe a guy named Chipper Jones came from there. I don't know. It just seems like athletics seems to happen very well. The best way I can describe it, it was IMG before IMG. Is that is that not a good way of, of looking at it's it, right? Great way of saying it. Great it way the, of saying it. The early days of IMG, like you would hear about bowls, you know, yeah, there's the, like they they recruited, right? When you weren't allowed to recruit in high school in high school. Well, they're a private school, they're a private so yes, school. they would be yeah. a, they would they would go out and they would get these kids and they would give them athletic scholarships to play sports, and I'm sure that they did it all nice and legal. Look, let's they, be like, honest. The, the IMG thing was perfect. IMG is now kind of has has stapled themselves as a school just like that. Bulls is a little more old fashioned the way they operate, but this kid, this he's an absolute stud. For him to be a, a man amongst boys at that kind of school, right, at that caliber of school, it, it speaks volumes. So well I'm done. absolutely stoked about that. So we got some comments here, uh, real quick. Muddy Waters, when was the last time? And this is what this is where I wanted to get into the positive, right? This is where I think we're missing as Gator fans, where we're missing out on what what was so great about today. When was the last time Florida was in contention for multiple five stars on Sunny Day? Been a long time, so I'm glad and expect Florida to be in contention for most five star recruits in the future. And this is what I was pumped about. This is where we 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 said, hey, we're two for six out of our targets. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. We had uh, multiple five-star recruits have our hat on their table this afternoon. It's been a long time since that's been even an, a, a thought process. So to me, that alone was a W for, the, for the, that, that name to be in the argument. Texas a and made history today, and we'll get into that a little bit later on. So that has a huge factor into it, right? And you can't ever sleep on LSU. They're always going to do great with Brian Kelly there. They're a big school. They do a lot of great things. They re- they've, they've won the most recent right, outside of Bama, but I'm saying who we were really competing with today. Lost a few to Miami, which, again, we'll get into that, too. We're going to talk about Harold Perkins, Javante, and all that. I want to talk about the good stuff first, and then we'll get into the drama and the juice. But this is a huge – this is a great point, and I'm glad you brought it up, Money Waters, because this was something that I wanted to talk about and that we're not keep focusing on. Is like, look, it's the fact that we had the opportunity today. And that sounds like a losing mentality, but where we were, <laughs> right? There was no opportunity to be had. Exactly. There was no opportunity to be had. You weren't even knocking on the door of a lot of the kids. Like I mean, when I say that, I'm, 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 I mean, you weren't even contacting them. You weren't knocking on the door for a lot of these kids that that at this point are now signed uh, national letters of intent uh, to play for your university and to uh, to have seen what Billy did. Look, and, and the other thing is what he did with his inroads uh, in Louisiana. Uh, being a head coach there, uh, even some of the lineage that he had uh, in Alabama when he was an assistant coach there and things like that, he was able to maintain those relationships so well that, you know, you get somebody like an ETN that comes in. You get you do, you do just get some guys who they don't forget him. He, they didn't forget who the guy was that, that maintained this relationship. And high school coaches have a massive, massive impact on the decision that these kids are going to make and for him to come in this far behind with from and take over from a coach that was really going to use the transfer portal to plug and play and get you know whatever uh, players he needed because he's not the guy uh, Mullen that had the personality to build those relationships right so for him to come in and and use uh just the relationships he's built and the fact that he he you know had some inroads and maintained them it's, it's pretty astounding. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes you get a sure. school with a new coach that just gets traction because there's excitement. But sure. this, one did, this one had a little bit of that, but it felt more like these the kids that he got were there because they knew him. And he had been almost recruiting him. He just couldn't get in the door at Louisiana Monroe. Sure. They, he can now. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely agree with that. Like you said, that the the new the nuances of a new coach can sometimes just be like there's a lot of excitement going on, and not a lot not a lot comes from it, but there's a lot of you know fluff in the air. This there there was definitely some traction here, and definitely some movement in the right direction. Um, the, the next big one that we signed again, we signed Trevor, um, which he was already going to be a, a big a big sign. We knew that, but there was some speculation. Some people were coming out thinking he was going to leave because of the Trevante Citizen situation, and we have a deep running back room. I didn't feel that way. Obviously, it didn't turn out that way. Um, but Caleb Douglas, he, look, again, things keep changing. Last I saw, he was four-star, but now he's saying he's a three-star wide receiver. It's also in film on this guy. This guy is a freaking uh, gazelle. I mean, he's long, he's lengthy, he's fast. His top-end speed when he gets on plane, dude, is stupid. Uh, when he get when he gets going, so yeah, but you got to be careful. I mean, if you got a quarterback throwing bullets, he could take one, and that, 
that's you know, yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm watching the kids' highlights, and I'm watching him obviously make some great catches and some and some make sh- running re- great routes. But the whoever was throwing to him, bro, <laughs> no slouch by any stretch. Of Where the is game. that kid? Yeah, bro, how's that guy not gone already? <laughs> throwing absolute darts, bro. I was like, yo. Y'all sleep. Maybe it was. Is it the quarterback or is it Caleb? Is it chicken? Yeah. Like, who came first? Because my <laughs> man is throwing absolute pocket passes to this kid. Like I was like, holy shit. 